Hello, everybody. Welcome to Little John's Yarns. Like I usually say, if this is your very first time here, what I usually like to do is talk about all things crochet and, of course, sip a little bit of wine. I don't know if you've noticed, but I have been gone for about a month. I was just supposed to take off maybe one Saturday live stream, but I decided I needed a little bit longer off. So this past month has been amazing. I've been resting, not, not doing too much work. Uh, let's see what's happened lately. My daughter came home for her Easter break. We celebrated her 22nd birthday. And it's strange to even say that I have a daughter who is 22 years old, because personally, I still think in my head that I'm 22. So that is just absolutely crazy. So what we're going to be doing here today, we are going to be looking at 10 crochet plant holder, plant hanger patterns. That would be perfect because Mother's Day is just around the corner. So if you want to like make something for yourself, for a mother that you know, or your own mother, this top 10 pattern lineup is going to be for you. So let me hear what's going on in your neck of the woods. What time is it on your part of the country? And what's the weather like? Let's see. Today here where I'm at, it's a pretty rainy, dreary day. It's 55 degrees. I'm in Western Pennsylvania. For the past two days, it has been absolutely gorgeous. So let me see. Let me check into the chat and see what's going on. My favorite, Reclected Goods. Yes, I'm finally back. I got to check out your live stream. I've been missing your live streams, but I'm happy I found it. What was it, a couple days ago? It was nice to see you again. Let's see. Leanne, yes, I've missed these. I'm back. Don't worry. I just needed a little break. So we're all back together now. Let's see. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> oh, Angela. Another one of my faves. Welcome back. Let's see, and another fave, Gloria. Hey, Alicia, and everyone in the chat. Let's see, who else is here? Knit, Pearl, and Squirrel with Granny D. Be right back, you guys. You know when you come to this live stream, you're supposed to have your beverage waiting. It's here with us so we can cheer together. Oh, and if you would like to do a cheers with me, you can always do that by helping support through Super Chat. What Super Chat is, if you ever notice in the chat section, you'll see a little dollar sign if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching on Facebook right now, I still don't know how to donate through there. But if you donate on YouTube, I'll have my bubbles will blow here and my on this side. Somebody just donated and my lights will go off. Let's see if the bubbles are blowing. Let's see. I need to get more bubbles. The bubbles aren't being that great. Let's see who donated. Wanda Juan, thank you so much. Uh, I'm glad I remembered your name was short for Wanda, right? The last time you told me, but thank you so much for donating. So you get a cheers. We'll give you a sip. And you get to spin the Wheel of Patterns. Let's give that a spin. There we go. Let's see which pattern that you get. You receive the summer sandals. So make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. Remember, I cannot find you. So therefore, you have to email me. My email address will be linked down in the description box below. So cheers to you. Thank you. And that was like the perfect timing for me explaining Super Chat. So that's what goes on when somebody Super Chats. All right. So, oh, Cherry, thank you so much. Love the glasses. You like um, color coordinating. Got this, this. But unfortunately, I don't got the nails that are matching today. The other day, I was feeling a little bit of blue, but I didn't feel like taking it off. All right. So now we're going to hop directly into this roundup. But before I do, what I usually like to do, I like to ask each and every one of you a question so I can get to know you more. And if you're watching this live stream on a replay and you don't feel like watching me talk through this whole entire thing, don't worry. All the free patterns are linked down in the description box below. So here is the first question for you. Number one, 
tell me something that amazing that has happened to you recently. It can be about crochet. It can be about anything that happened in your life. You have a new child, a new grandchild, or you've created something amazing. Tell me what it is. But before you do, make sure you put question marks first before you comment so I know to bring it to the front so we can share it with each other. All right, let me bring up my script and we'll hop directly into the very first pattern. Here we go. All right, let me scroll so you can see this a little bit better. This one is called the Crochet Plant Hanger Pod. One skein of Burnett Maker's Home Decor yarn makes two of these trendy hanger plant pods, one big and one small. The chunky cotton nylon yarn makes this crochet plant hanger perfect and extra thick, and it's machine washable too. The designer of this pattern is, of course, Yarnspiration. I definitely like this, especially all you have to do is buy one skein of yarn. All right, so you're not wasting money. Any other pictures of these? Now look at this. Everybody knows I am a plant lover. I think I need a couple of these plant hangers. Hmm, I like the wall ones. These are cute. Let's hop into the second one. Now look how adorable this one is. All right, number two, this is called the Alpaca Planter. This colorful design combines two of the most popular trends right now, alpacas and plants. Grab a neutral yarn for the main pattern and dip into your scrap basket for a small amount of yarn for the accent colors. The designer of this pattern is Sweet Softies. This is, I wish I could see exactly how big this is in comparison. Is there like a hand shot where I can see exactly how big this alpaca is? Oh, that's so cute. I need a reference shot. Okay, here's a reference. It's a standard two inch clay pot. So it's a very tiny pot. Any other pictures? Okay. So the last question that I asked you, tell me something that's amazing that has happened to you recently. Usually I go first. I can't think of anything in particular that has happened pretty much amazing. I don't know. Hmm. Okay, I'll think about it and I'll hop in and see what you guys have to say. I'm gonna start from the bottom first. Okay, still in leather. Good morning, nice to meet you. I'm working on a color pooling blanket. Do you, oh, I've color pulled once by accident. I haven't done any tutorials on it. I was making a scarf and it just happened to line up perfectly in the magic color pooling. But I've never done it purposefully. So I do love the way it looks. It makes any simple pattern looks a lot more complicated. Oh, hold on. I'll get back to you, Leanne. I just want to say hi to, hey, Marty. All right, Leanne, I just started my last internship at the primary school before becoming an official teacher. Congratulations, teach. Uh, hope I say your last name, Miss, Miss Snoke. Snoke, S-N-O-E-K, Snoke. Am I saying the last name right? I hope so. I am horrible with pronouncing names. Yee. But congratulations to you. I know I'm calling everybody my fave, but when I say fave, I mean it from the heart. Crazy Poppy Lady is one of my faves. She was looking out for me once. I've got a new pattern out called the Jumping Jackie Jumper. Paul, oh, Paul over for, Paul over for you U.S. girls. Pull over. Got... Yes, you UK, uh, I guess, across the pond translation. Pullover and uh, jumper, it's like a sweater. So, but Crazy Poppy Lady, would you be able to email me your new pattern so I can share it on my Facebook page so everybody can see your amazing new pattern? Molly turned 73 yesterday and congratulations. And by looking at your little profile picture, you don't look it. You're looking good for 73. Actually, you're not looking good for, you just look good, period, for any age. <gasps> Cherry B, Cherry Bomb, my cat had four black and white babies. Congratulations. I kind of got something that was a little bit exciting. 
once upon a time, I was talking about getting a kitten for the, my family. They wanted one. And then I'm like, I don't know. I have too much yarn. But my son, he said, Mom, I want one. So I'm like, I can't deny the children any type of pets. So I'm like, before I get this pet, because my son, he's a pretty much afraid of all things animals. I'm like, let's go to a little pet shelter and go. What wasn't a pet shelter? It was called the Cat Cafe. It's half cafe and the other half you can go play with the cats that are living there. I just wanted to test him out to see if he was ready to take care of a cat. Well, we got there. Little homie, little dude, he just froze up. He was there like, I can't do this. One cat scratched at my hand. He was done. He's like, I want nothing to do with these kittens and cats. I I do not want a cat. I do not want to bring one home. So that was something that was almost exciting. We almost got a cat. Marty got news. I'll be a great grandmother for the second time. Congratulations to you, Grandma Marty. Christy accepted into college. Congratulations. See, you just can't leave me with accepted into college. What do you want to do in college? What is your main goal? I want to know it all. I'm nosy. Oh, Dee Dee. Red is the best color in the rainbow. I do love red, but my absolute favorite color, well, my favorite color is purple, but my favorite color to wear, yellow, hands down. I don't know. It's just bright and if anybody knows me i'm color incompetent i don't know how to match multiple colors so when i wear a color um it's head to toe red 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 i can't mix red with what's color that goes with red i don't know i wouldn't know how to put those two things together all right so we got the first two patterns out of the way have i missed anybody do 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 oh let me get on some further. Here we go. Knit and per knit pearl and okay. I'm just gonna call you Granny D. Amazing to me is that my daughter came yesterday and set up my bougie new laptop. Has loads more brains than me, the daughter and the computer. See, that's the convenient thing of having daughters. My daughter, I consider her. She's an extra brain. I appreciate her. The older that she's getting, the more I have to respect her as an adult that holds inf real legit information in her head. I'm like, Jada, that's my daughter's name. I'm like, can you help me with this? Sometimes she doesn't want to help, but she's a pretty awesome kid. Okay, there's no question marks in front of this, but it looks like a good story. Crochet time with Asia. Let's see. Last week, my five-year-old student told me that he didn't want to miss any class because he loved to learn from me. And that made me, oh, and that felt like a huge personal win. Oh, when the baby say something sweet. All right, I'm going to answer, look at one more comment, and then we're going to hop right back into this roundup. And remember, if you're just coming to this live stream and you're wondering where exactly are these patterns, they're linked down in the description box below, and you can do all of them absolutely free. So before we hop into it, of course, I like to ask you a question. All right, what crochet stitch would you not touch with a 10 foot pole? Before you answer that, make sure you put question marks in front of it so I know that you're answering a question and we can bring it to the front. All right, All right let me hop back into the next two. We did this one. All right, here's the next plant hanger. This is called the Chevron Crochet Plant Hanger. Did I share the screen? Let me make sure I did. Sometimes I forget to share the screen and I'm just reading and you're looking at my face. So this is called the Chevron Crochet Plant Hanger. What can you make with only 20 yards of yarn? This trendy crochet plant hanger, of course. What a great way to use up leftovers from your other projects. I love the bold chevron design and the chunky wooden bees. The designer of this pattern is Hello Happy. Scrap yarns, use them up. I have no clue. Uh oh, I'm moving stuff around. Come on, this is supposed to, um, I'm got things all messed up. I have no clue how much, look behind me. All this yarn, I could probably make a billion 
<laughs> plant holders with the yarn I have. But let me stop playing. I'm probably not going to make this. I need to. If I want to make one of those big, huge macrame plant hangers, those are gorgeous. Look at this. Beautiful. All right, the next pattern, I pulled this out of order, so here we go, is the Spring Bunny Crochet Planter Cover. Bunnies aren't just for Easter. You can create spring all year round with this, deli with this delightful planter cover. This is one of those free crochet plant hangers and holder designs that will look great in any kid's room or on the patio. The designer of this pattern is the Inspired Wren. Yeah, we, you know, Easter did just pass, but you can use this anywhere. I think it would be so cute in the little kid's room or like I said, on a back patio, extra cute. And this is an easy beginner pattern. Look at this, cute. All right, back to my face. What crochet stitch, this is the question that I just asked, would you not touch with a 10 foot pole? I'll go first. I will not touch the crochet broom. What is it? Broom stitch? Broom lace? Yep. Yeah. Broom stitch? Is that what it's called? But it's the one where you use a really big end of a crochet hook or like a, what is it? P crochet hook and you like work around it. I just can't get it. Everything slips and wop. Hold on, let me Google this. Okay, guys, we're going on a field trip. What is it? Crochet broom stick lace. That's what it's called. Images. This stitch. It is absolutely gorgeous, but every time I work it, I just get mad. Let's see if I can work this stitch. See, this is what I'm talking about when you're working over top of something. Every time I do, things start to slip, and I don't like the way it looks. So that is the stitch I won't touch with a 10-foot pole. Ugh. Oh, and guys, once again, if you'd like to help support my channel through Super Chat, you can always do that in the little comment section. And when you do, bubbles will go, lights will blow, the lights will, lights will blow. Lights will go off and the bubbles will blow. I'm having issues with what's going on back here. All right, so let's see. Let me start from the top this time. Oh, this is backtracking on what Christy's doing, bachelor's degree of science in information technology after being out of school for 27 years. Thank you for letting me know what you're going back to school for and amazing and you better get straight A's. I want you to send me pictures of your report card. You got it? You know, and if you do good, print it off and put it up on your refrigerator. You better. And congratulations. Hey, what's up? Welcome back, Mother of Kale. Most lace stitches. Yeah. Lace stitches can get annoying sometimes, but they're so beautiful. Oh, <laughs> what is the question? Something about a stitch and a pole. <laughs> what is the crochet stitch that you wouldn't touch with a 10 foot pole? What is, I should say, what is the crochet stitch you hate? That might be a very, uh, I don't know, American saying, if you're not from America, I don't know. Okay. What's up, Knit and Crochet Tiger? Welcome back. YouTube notifications still not giving me notifi notifications on time. You know what? Don't worry. The last couple of weeks I haven't been on, so you probably haven't missed anything. Jasmine Stitch is the hardest for me, but I can't get up, give up. I've got to get it. Okay, I think we're going to go on another field trip because that's not ringing a bell. I can't spell Jasmine Stitch. <gasps> oh, yeah, that's looking pretty star stitches. Like, I don't touch a star stitch either, but that is a pretty stitch. Look at the image. Okay, 
Now we can kind of see how it's built. I guess on top of each other, how weird. I don't think I've done a jasmine dish before. It's pretty though. Mm. I'm gonna have to try it. My girl, Marty, I'm not sure if I found one yet. I've only been crocheting for a year now. You'll find the one stitch you're like, oh, this is beautiful. And you'll start and you'll restart and you'll restart. I know I hate a stitch if I'm on the first two to three rows for like a half an hour. I'm like, this isn't for me. I haven't figured out how to get past row two yet. I'm done. I can't. I'll definitely call you Granny D. Okay, it's so much shorter than Knit, Pearl, and Squirrel. Granny D, that's your name forever, Faith. Uh, uh, VJ Bobbles. Uh, yeah, it definitely is a yarn eater. I don't mind them. Sometimes the stitches that eat the most yarn are always the prettiest stitches. I love doing back post and front post stitches, but those definitely just eat up yarn. Mm. But I don't know. Heel stitch. Oh, Molly. Birthday, Molly. Are we going on another uh, field trip? Yes. And if you're just tuning into this live stream and, oh, what's going on with the pearl stitch? I do not know. This looks really nitty. Come on, be a video. I want to see a video. Do, do, do. Videos. There we go. Let's go a little further. Okay. Is, that, is it like slip stitches? Hmm. Why don't you like that one? Is it because it's such a small stitch? Oh. Ripple Stitch, hey, Gloria, fave. Granny D, agree. Broomstick Lace, I can't take it. But yeah, I, I don't know if I finished this sentence, but all the free patterns are linked down below if I'm talking too much. We have a couple broomsticks. Oh, yes. Stilling leather, none. I'm good with all. Look at you. I forgot that not all crocheters are knitters and vice versa. I've always done both and figured it was just normal till just recently. My, uh, I'm just a one trick pony. I only know crochet. I've learned a little bit of knit, but it just felt uncomfortable to me because I'm just so used it using. I'm so used to using my singular crochet hook and just whizzing through it and have to wrap and pull. It's just beyond me. Maybe if I would have learned them both at the same time and not have done 20 years of crochet and then picked up knitting, it probably would have been easier if I learned them both as a child, but crochets, first love. Let's see. Crazy Poppy Lady, Bobble Stitch. Okay, I knew it must have been my expression. Sorry, Leanne, I was not familiar with that expression. For me, it's the yarn under half double crochet. I know that one. I had to use that for a test crochet pattern, but hated it. Yeah, not to the saying, can't touch it with a 10 foot pole. That means I don't like it. I love hearing expressions that other people don't know. So you learned a new one today. All right, so we got past that. We're going to hop directly back into this roundup again for the next two patterns. And as usual, I hope I didn't delete the wrong one. Eek! I'm going to ask you a question. This question, what is the most that you've ever crocheted 
or knit if you're a knitter watching this. What is the most you've ever crocheted? I guess I should do a time period. I don't know. You can say the most you ever crocheted in a year, in a month, with whatever you're thinking of. What is the most that you've ever crocheted at one point in time nonstop? So let me hop directly back into this. Where am I on this roundup? I'm looking at my script over in the corner. We did the bunny face. Here we go. Summer Sherbert Crochet Planter. This is our number five pattern. Capture those sweet summer vibes with bright rainbow Sherbert colors. I love crochet plant hangers and holders that have a lot of texture, like this lovely ridge design. The easy crochet pattern only uses single crochet through both loops and single crochet in the back loops. The designer of this pattern again is inspired by Rin. Can I already do this one? I don't know. But I do remember reading her name. Hmm. Maybe we got her twice on the list. I think so. Definitely a simple pattern. Perfect for beginners. Oh yeah, I did do that one. Did this one. Did we do the bear? The next one is the teddy bear planter. Let me get all these ads out the way so you can see this cutie up close. Number six, a sturdy cotton rayon yarn is an excellent choice for a sturdy crochet plant holder. You can also choose to use this adorable teddy bear as a basket instead. I love the simplicity of this design and adorable expression on the bear's face. The designer of this pattern is Thorsby Cottage. Another easy beginner crochet pattern. If you can crochet in a round, this looks just like simple single crochet. You can make this. I can see you probably make the base first. Then you make the little circle for the nose and the ears last. Let's check it out. See if they have some pictures as they go. Any pictures? Come on, pictures. There we go. Oh, look how cute that is. Okay, no pictures as you go, but you got to see these. All right, so the most, the question that I asked you, what was the most you've ever crocheted or knit at one time? The most that I've ever done, it was back in 2017 or 18. I was doing Christmas orders. This was the biggest order I ever received. Luckily, oh, I have to find it on my Instagram. Luckily, uh, I had a friend help me complete it. I'm going to my Instagram at the same time. I should have had it pulled up. It was an order of, I think, 60 scarves and 60 hats that we had to make. It was nuts. Okay, I'm on my Instagram now. I'm scrolling for days. There we go. You can come with me. It's somewhere in here in the bottom of my Instagram. Do, do, do. Scroll with me, people. Be patient. But together, we did well over 100 items. And that doesn't include some of the other things that I was crocheting at the time for custom orders. Like, I no longer do custom orders, but, man, I was hooking hard at that time. Where is it? Come on. I know it's somewhere in here. Where is it? Guys, thank you for being patient with me. I can't find the picture where we... There it is. Found it. Okay. Sorry, guys. Some of these, I, the scarves I made on my Addy Express knitting machine, that made things go by so quick. And she did so many of these, like, pom-poms. She had her husband help make these pom-poms. Her name is Erin Murphy. She makes the amazing pom-poms. And she taught her husband how to do it too, so bless his heart. But after that, I'm like, I will never do such a huge order of crochet ever again. <laughs> All right, so my question is back to you now. What is the biggest, the most amount you've ever crocheted or knit at one time? And if you're watching this on the replay and or you're just tired of watching me talk right now, all these patterns that you're watching now 
or link down in the description box below. And also, I always mention if you would like to help support my channel via Super Chat or if you're watching on Facebook via Stars. I still don't know how that works. <laughs> you can always donate. When you do, the lights will go off, the bubbles will blow, and you'll get to spin the Wheel of Patterns. So let me hop in and see what you guys. Do, 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 do. Let's see. Twelve hours? That's the most what what happened in 12 hours? Did I did I phrase that wrong? 12 hours. 15 hours? What's the most you did in 15 hours? What's the most you ever crocheted? You might have to expand on that. Here we go. I've been working on my pulling blanket for at least 10 hours. Okay, at least 10 hours a day. So that's what you guys are talking about. How much you crochet in a day. Okay, let me go back. I'll get back to you still in leather. This is making more sense. You've crocheted a straight 12 hours. Not actually. I guess it's not shocking. I'm a, I've am done that too. Have I? I think I take breaks. My hands will end up killing me. If I'm crocheting a lot, it's usually like when it's if I'm crocheting after nine o'clock, but yeah, you're putting in overtime. 12, 15 hours straight. Okay, this is making a lot more sense now. That's a better question. How long have you crocheted straight? Okay, now back to you, still in leather. I've been working on my pulling blanket for at least 10 hours a day since I started. 15 minutes, 15 minutes a row. Okay. Ooh, how big is your blanket? Okay. 15 minutes a row. How big is it? Wow. It's gonna be a big old blanket. Cherry bomb, cherry B made a twin blanket, but took a few weeks. Nothing wrong with that. I give credit to anybody who makes blankets. I've maybe made in my whole entire life, it's probably under 10 blankets, maybe slightly over five, somewhere in between five and 10 blankets I've ever made. And probably half of those are baby blankets. I have this one big blanket over here I've made and... I don't like making big blankets. I get so bored after I make my first row and it's huge. But then I'm like, this blanket, it's just going to be a scarf. I don't got time to finish it. I just get a little bit lazy. Mother of Kale. For knitting, I'm currently working on a button-down dress. Ooh, so that's going to take a while. For crochet, I've crocheted three tops and sweaters in one in one sitting? How long were you sitting there? The most I've ever made with clothes, I and I was proud of myself. I made three sweaters in one month, and my hands locked up on me. I told myself I will never do it. For you men and ladies and gentlemen who are crocheting 15 hours, I might have done it maybe in the past, but I don't think I can do it now. But when I did that sweater thing, my hands locked up on me for days. I got arthritis and it just kissed at Alicia. No more, no more crocheting. Stop now. Hmm. Listen, for collected goods, Aida, we know you crochet for hours. And when you put hours in, you're putting hours in on some thread, girl. You got some skin. Skills. So if you want to ever, if you're lonely while crocheting, you need somebody to talk to, make sure you log on to Instagram and follow uh, Reclected Goods. She's always a great person. She'll hop on live. She'll, when she's, no, she's bored, she gets information, she'll hop on live. When she wants somebody to talk to, she'll hop on live. Go hop on with her and finish off some crochet projects. I might have to use you as an accountability uh, partner so I can crochet. <laughs> Baby blanket set 12 within a month or two. How's your fingers doing? Wow. Cheers, you got skills. 
Molly, birthday Molly, me and you on the same page. I did a temperature blanket. It took a year. Yeah. I think if I'm ever going to do a blanket, now I'm just going to have to wait till next year. It's going to be a temperature blanket. It has to be a blanket that takes 365 days. So I don't feel rushed. Something I can just do a little bit at a time and then it'll eventually be done. Uh, still in leather. I think it really depends on the style of knitting. Holding the wool in the same way and your painting knitting makes things easier. Ooh, see, I don't know my knitting terminology, but hopefully all you other knitters that are watching right now, still in leather, still in leather, made that make sense for you. Two four by six throws. Ooh, nice. I think a throw is more tangible to do. I lied because I, I, I haven't made any throws. But if I would think about it, I would probably make a throw over a full or queen or king size blanket. Speaking of king size blanket, Shatika says king size blanket throws six most skills. All right. We're going to look at one more. I think it's around five hours in one day. And this one, six hours in a day. You guys, you're skilled. You're skilled. All right. So we're going to hop back into this roundup. Uh, where's, where's my questions that I'm going to ask you? Oh, I've asked this one before. This is, if you have anybody that doesn't need to hear this answer, walk into another room with your phone or your laptop, whatever you're watching now and close the door so nobody can hear what you're about to say or what you're about to type on a computer. What is the most that you've ever spent on yarn in one trip? What is the cash money amount that you've ever spent on yarn? a one shopping event trip or whatever. All right, before you put your answer down, make sure you put question marks in front of it so I can bring it to the front and we can share it with everybody. All right, so we'll hop back into this roundup. Let me share my screen. All right, this one is called the, hey, little buddy, go for it. All right, this one is called the Jolie Planter Cover. A quick and easy crochet planter hanger or holder adds a special handmade touch to the last minute Mother's Day or birthday gift. You can make this one using three colors of scrap yarn, cotton is preferred, and just single and double crochet stitches. The designer of this pattern is Sincerely Pam. This is, no what? I could probably, see, these little things like this is what I love to make. And look at this plant. That's called a fiddly fig, a dwarf one. Do I have one of my own? Hold on. Where is my fiddly fig is? Let me put my finger. Boop. Is this plant right here? Those plants. All right. Back into the roundup. Sorry, guys. All right. So let's see any other pictures on this one. Super cute. Oh, you can also use it as a basket. All right. Then the very next one is our pattern number eight. The feather stitch. Let me give you a better view. There we go. The feather stitch plant pot cover. Have you ever tried the feather stitch before? It's a bit of a yarn eater, but it's an amazing texture and a nice, sturdy, and solid fabric. That's why it's perfect stitch for crochet planter hangers and holders, like this marvelous monochrome mustard one. The designer of this pattern is Willow Crochet. And I have never done the feather stitch before. I love the way it's like angled off to the right. That's pretty. Okay. Back to the question that I asked. What is the most you've ever spent on yarn? All right. The, I guess I, this is a two-part question. The most I ever spent on one skein of yarn, I think I spent like $50 on a skein of yarn. Yeah, that was a lot of money. Shh. But the most I ever spent in like one shopping yarn spree 
maybe I did just do one not that long ago, about 200, 200, 200 to $250. But it wasn't like on one expensive skein of yarn. I got a crap ton of yarn. I walked in with bags upon bags upon bags of yarn. Like, ooh, I felt like, I don't know. I felt like a bougie princess coming back from a shopping spree at Tiffany's, but it was at Joanne Fabrics and it was all just yarn, but it was just so exciting. So 200 to $250 in one shopping trip and on $50 on one skein of yarn. And I don't think I've used it yet. Do I have it? It makes me wonder. I bought that in New Orleans last summer, two skeins of yarn, and I don't know where I put them. See, the, when I buy such an expensive yarn, I know, I know I'll never use it because I'm always afraid, like, what if I don't like what I make? What am I going to make with it? I shouldn't have bought it because I already lost it. All right, so let's hop into you. Let's see what you guys got to say. What's the most you've ever spent on yarn? <coughs> And to prep yourself, we have two more patterns after this. If you'd like to show off anything that you're working on right now, I'm going to put my email in the chat, littlejohnsyarn at gmail.com. You can email me whatever you're working on right now. If you have your latest whip, email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. I just put it in the chat and it's always also in the description box. So let's see how much guys you guys are spending on yarn. Wanda, $50 to $100, oh, for a hank. Ooh, ain't you rich? But that's something for me. It better be. It's not for nobody else. You deserve that. $100 on a scan of yarn, it might just sit on my mantle. I just did a review. Not a review. I didn't touch it. I did a YouTube video on, video on the most expensive yarn in the wool most expensive yarn in the world all right i pronounced that right and that's vicuna wool for like uh 30 grams it's like 300 dollars for 30 grams of yarn that's crazy leanne so, thank you for doing the money translation thing for me i appreciate that 72 dollars for my temperature blanket this year and oh that's so cute you, you, you're not crazy like us once you start spending money money so you're still good oh wait wait this is what i'm talking 300 this is what, who's gonna top let's see who tops each other who is gonna top melanie we got 300 300 anybody above 300 Crazy poppy lady, holiday yarn from Spotlight in Australia, 60 bucks. Total spent during that holiday, 140 bucks. A hundred Christmas voucher, normally nothing more than $50. That's what I like when I'm just shopping for fun. I'm like, okay, Alicia. So if it's a singular yarn, I'm cheap. I don't need anything fancy. I'm not bougie. I don't need to have natural materials. I don't care if it's made from soda cans, whatever it is. I'm happy. If it's pretty and I can crochet with it, I'm happy. Uh, I typically, for a skein of yarn, I don't like to spend over $10. If I'm doing my own little fun yarn shopping trip, I don't like to go over $50. But if I'm feeling bougie rich, like I said, I I spent two hundred, almost two hundred and fifty dollars. Still in leather, cheapest is nine rolls for just less than three bucks. eBay, oh, are we talking the cheapest yarn we ever bought? too? the cheapest yarn. I told the story a million times. It was this flea mark or whatever. They were selling yarn like fifty cent a skein. I walked out. I spent well over a hundred, well over a hundred dollars. And I had so much yarn. I had hundreds of skeins of yarn. It was nuts. Birthday girl, we have somebody who beat Melanie. Annie's knit club when I learned to crochet in 2020, but they took payments 
once a month. I think it totaled around $350. Okay, we got $350 for a birthday Molly. Anybody beaten $350? So far, you're in a lead with, ooh, all that money. Yes, shame on you, Gloria. Recollected goods, okay, 250. It's a little bit high, but not outrageous. 76. 80. See, okay, Mother Kale. This is what I'm yes, we're spending a lot of money, but when I do spend a lot of money, I'm spending it with coupons. That's the truth. Oh, we have another, we got a tie. With birthday Molly, Nitin Crochet Tiger, he gets $350. <laughs> Pooey. I remember Pooey. I love saying Pooey. That's fun. All right. Let's see. I'm going to scroll down the bottom, see if I missed anybody. Did anybody beat $350? Nope. I think $350 is the winner. Molly and Nitin Crochet Tiger, you guys definitely get issues. There you go. Cheers to you. <laughs> All right, so we're going to hop back into this roundup for the last two. Guys, if you have anything you would like to share with me, your works in progress, send it to my email right now, and let's show the world. I'm going to hop into my email after these last two and show off your work. All right, and remember, if you're just hopping into this live and you're watching this live stream, you're wondering, where are these free patterns? They're all linked down in the description box below. And okay. Let me pull up my script. That's not it. We did that one. Here we go. These are called the crochet pot covers. Basic crochet stitches come together in a beautiful and interesting way in these adorable crochet pot covers. The main cover is worked in white yarn and then bright cording is woven in and out of the stitches for a colorful accent. The designer of this pattern is Mon Makes Things a Little Things Blog. Oh, that's a mouthful for a name. Let me see if I said this right. Mon Makes Things for Little Things Blogged. All right, that's the name of the uh, blog writer, the pattern designer. This is cute. Get some better pictures. Beautiful plants. This plant looks like my traveling dude plant. I don't know, but leafier. All right. Oh, sorry. Just looking at plants. I'm plant obsessed. And our last pattern is the beginner, beginner, beginner plant cover. Crochet plant hangers and holders don't have to be fancy. Even a simplest design like this one that's just used a single and double crochet stitches can make a big impact in any space. Visitors will be dying to know where you got this cute plant cover from. The designer of this pattern is Jessica Cherry. What the yarn did they use? That yarn looks ropey. Okay, that's what I'm nosy about. Uh, what is the yarn? Ooh, Barnett Maker's yarn. Oh, it's discontinued. I wonder if there's a matching one for this. If you would ever like to know how to make like a jumbo yarn, I have this trick, I forget the name of it, where you can take one skein of worsted weight yarn and make it into like jumbo yarn. It's just the way you have to pull the yarn. I forget the technical name for it. And another time. All right, so forget about that. Those are all the 10 crochet patterns that we were checking out. If you would like to try any of them, they're all free and linked down in the description box below. Now we're gonna check out all of your patterns. But before you do, I would like to also, like I always do remind you, if you'd like to help support this channel via Super Chat, if you're on YouTube or via Stars, if you're watching on Facebook, just click that little dollar sign button in the chat and bubbles will go off and lights will flash and the wheel of patterns, you know the routine. All right, so let's hop into my email. Okay, we already got some people who are sending things over. Wanda, the virus shawl tutorial I found on YouTube made with 
I can't say the word, sh sh uh, schleppy. I can't say the word. Forgive me. She made with that yarn, but oh, gorgeous. Thank you for sharing that. I've always loved these viral shawls. Oh, we got a super chat. Who super chatted? Melanie. My number one fave, me and Melanie just became Facebook friends. I was like looking on Facebook. I'm like, I think I've known Melanie enough to know Melanie's not like crazy. We're Facebook buddies now. Okay, since you asked nicely, thank you so much, my dear. I appreciate it. I know you're into patterns, but I'm always going to spin the wheel of patterns for you. There we go. Let me turn off the bubbles. And we'll give it a spin. Email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. And Melanie, thank you for becoming my Facebook friend. And I love all your posts. You're pretty cool. All right. Back to see who's next. Speak of the devil. One 64 quart tote ready to go. Someone is halfway full. Second one is halfway full. Ooh, I know that hat. Ooh, I love crochet hats. You know what? I haven't been crocheting hats in a while. You're re-inspiring me, especially cute little summer light hats like these. You putting work in. You're definitely putting work in. Carrie, a blanket and velvet and a cotton crop top for my daughter. Ooh, pretty. Let's take a closer look. Oh, she's such a pretty girl. Is she a dancer? She looks like a dancer. Oh, look at that. I love that. Hold on, let me see the front again. That is cute. Ooh. Oh, oh, that's definitely velvet. That's You can't see me touching my screen with my finger, actually, but just imagine my finger is the arrow right here. That just looks so soft and beautiful. Oh, that's going to be a nice blanket. Leanne, I've been working on my temperature blanket this week. I've also been inspired to go through all my supplies and minimalize. Like half of my stuff is ready to be donated or tossed. And I've got everything in one place. So I'm happy with it. Beautiful. Ooh, the color matches your couch perfectly. Hmm. Cool. Uh, no, I don't get this. I, I, you just gave me some ideas. Like, should I do a different couch cover? Make my couch look brand new? Hmm. Oh, yeah, you're getting organized. I like this bed. Knit happens. Sure does. <laughs> hey, look, there's me in the corner. <gasps> look at all your crafty goodies. I need to be like you. I need to start getting rid of some of this stuff. This is what I'm working on. Nice to meet you, Norena. This is pulling. This is, this is gorgeous. Are you pulling with three different yarns? Jeez, this is gorgeous. No, wait, two different, wait, one, two, three, three different yarns. Is this a black and blue or same right here? Gorgeous. My favorite we collected goods, Aida. See, she always has to show off with her amazing, beautiful, intricate, crochet godlike work. This is gorgeous. And I know you're not showing off. You're just naturally skilled. She's one of the most modest people I know. She's not a show offer. She is definitely skilled, though. Remember, guys, check out her Instagram, Reclectic Goods. You've seen her in the chat. Bergie, another one of my faves. Hey, you. This is with a, okay, you showing off, 3.25 millimeter hook. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are these headphone covers? Oh, if it is, that's the way you rock headphones right there. 
This is cute. I would have never thought to make that. It's genius. And Virgie, I hope life is treating you good. My dude, knit and crochet tiger. Another shaw piece. You be knitting. You take you you take knit to a different level. What I typically I like knit is pretty, but I love the way crochet has texture. But every time knit and crochet tiger send something, I'm like, knit is amazing. Look at this texture. It's like beautiful little rainbows, little humps over and over again. This is gorgeous. Um, and like I said, there's something about knit. The stitches are so small. The smaller the stitch, the more uh, crochet hooking. Well, you're not a hooker, but more yarn cred I give you. Beautiful. Look at this. That's a shawl. I feel like I'm in like a Technicolor coat. That's cool. Okay, I'm gonna get off that one. Go to the next one. But that is so cool. One. Oh, okay. I'll get back to you so I know yours was for a win. Super chat. There we go. I'll save this so I know it's a super chat. And these will be the last four and we'll wrap this up. Birthday Molly, working on my second coronation keepsake blanket. Ooh, coronation, of course. What is that? Beautiful work. Let me zoom, zoom, zoom in. The different stitch patterns. You got the shell over here, the granny stitch over here. You get oh, so many beautiful stitches all in one. Did you follow a pattern or did you do this one yourself? Because I always have trouble if I'm not using like a pattern, the stitch count to make sure all the stitch counts are great, you know? Okay, let's see. Ooh. Like I said, I'm sorry my adjectives are bad with describing things I love, but I love this. This border, this, this whole, this whole right there is, you don't know how to decide, classy, beautiful. I guess royal, I suppose, beautiful. I love the whole thing. Thank you for sending this. Denise. Okay. I trust Denise so we can check these videos out. Let's see. Error. Let's try this one. No. Denise, you might have to try to send it again. I won't let me open them. I'm sorry, Denise. Wait, download. Okay, open. Okay, if you're not Denise, you can't send any of these because I might not know you. If you're one of my faves and you send me a file like this and I have to download, I'll trust you. I trust Denise. <laughs> this is beautiful. I love market bags and this handle. If you're making a market bag, make sure you make a good handle that doesn't stretch. This one right here is a non-stretchy handle. Beautiful. See, you're so color coordinated. I would never know to put these colors together. I, I just can't picture stuff like that. I wish I was color smart like that. Okay, close that up. Who'd I miss? Ooh, men and women's fedora. Gloria, you 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 be having these fedora hats. I cannot make fedora hats if my life depended on it. That little dip that goes in the middle of a fedora, I can never make. Beautiful. Ooh. It's like depending on what mannequin you put it on, the fancier it looks. D Thompson, let's see what you get. Beautiful. I need to see the stitches. That yarn is everything. The color transitions is everything. 
gorgeous. And I can't lie, wherever you're at right now, I just want to sit and relax and enjoy the view. I love the background. Okay. All right, guys. So that's pretty much wraps it up. Thank you so much for sharing your work with me. I appreciate it so much. And that's my favorite part is always the very end where I get to look at your work. So I appreciate it. I feel so thankful and blessed that you would even bother to send it to me. So I am back to being on my live streams. And I think, let's see, the very first Saturday in May, let me pull up my calendar. So not next weekend, the weekend after that, we are going to have my best crochet friend, Karen V. Miguel, back. I miss her face so flipping much. So we'll have somebody fun to banter off of. All right, guys. So I'll see you all next week. Wait. I see a super chat, but no bubbles went off. Oh, there's the cherry beat. We're going to stop just for you. Hmm. And I'm going to look for you. Let's let's check your stuff out. What did I miss? Pull that down. Cherry B. Are you? Wait. wait. The bubble is blowing in my face. First, let me see. You said I said my Mildred throw. I didn't see it. Wait. See, I don't know your last name officially, but Angela Wood sent, hey, honey, you asked me to send you the details for my latest pen. Oh, okay. This is Crazy Poppy Lady? Is that who this is for your latest pattern? This one, uh, this is named, I'm sorry, I'm all flustered, guys. This one is the, this one is named after my mom. It's nice, simple, make here. Okay, I'm going to post this on my Facebook page. But beautiful work. Yes, it is the crazy poppy lady. But Cherry Beat, I missed yours. How did I miss it? Cherry Beat, can you? Okay, let me see if I have you in here. Uh, what is your email address, Cherry? I don't want to forget you. But as if you're sending it again right now. I'm going to spin the Willa patterns and hopefully in the meantime, while I'm spinning the Willa patterns, your pattern will show up in my inbox. All right. So since you donated, we are going to spin the Willa pattern. See what you got. Uh, crochet sandals. So remember, make sure you email me at littlejohnyarns at gmail.com. And let's see if it showed up in my inbox. Where is it? I'm going to wait for you. I missed it. Kathleen. There we go. Thank you, my sugar. There's nothing recent from it. Um, I do have an email from you from a long time ago that I must not have opened from 9-14-22. Uh, I did not get it. Let me double check. I sent my Mildred throw. I can't find it, my dear. I can't find it. What a bummer. Well, I am going to have to wrap this up, but if I do get it in my email, I'm going to save it for next week. I'm still going to respond to you, Cherry B. Don't worry, but I'm going to save it for next week. But everybody, thank you so much for joining me on this live stream, and I will see you all next week. Bye, guys.